Hello everyone, this is lecture 8 on topic time, speed and distance. Today, we'll start off with one simple yet an important type of problem that is problem based on boats and streams. So first, we'll understand the basic concept and then we'll solve some problems based on it. So that's the agenda. Let's dive in. So let us start our discussion on a very important concept on this topic that is boats and streams. Now to understand the concept, what I've done, I have shown two cases in front of you. So let us discuss these two cases one by one. Let's look at case one. So you can clearly see there is a boat here. Let's say the boat is flowing in this particular direction with the speed SB. So SB is representing speed of boat. Let's say the speed of boat is 10 km per hour. And this boat obviously will flow in a river. So it's a stream, the current where the boat is flowing. And let's say the river is also flowing in the same direction with speed. So I'm representing speed of river with SR, 5 km per hour. Now I want you to look at the direction in which boat and river are flowing. You would say, sir, boat and river both are flowing in the same direction. And this type of movement is called as downstream movement. What movement? Downstream movement. So the speed which would be applicable in this case, it would be downstream speed. And therefore, in this case, the speed applicable would be called as speed downstream. So let us represent speed downstream with SD. So SD is what? Speed downstream. So if I ask you to calculate speed downstream, you would say, sir, it would be nothing but simply the addition of two speeds, speed of boat plus speed of river. Okay, simply look at the scenario. Boat and river both are flowing in the same direction. So can I say that speed of river is going to help speed of boat? Because river and boat both are flowing in the same direction. So in case of downstream movement, the speed applicable is called as speed downstream. And the way to calculate downstream speed is speed of boat plus speed of river. Because the flow of the river is going in the same direction as the direction of boat. And therefore, it is going to speed up the speed of boat. And that is why we are going to add speed of river and speed of boat to get speed downstream. But guys, if I change this scenario a little bit, again, I have a boat. Let's call it case number two. The speed of boat is again 10 km per hour. The speed of river, let's again take it as 5 km per hour. But this time, if I say that the river is flowing in the opposite direction, boat is flowing in the same direction, while river is flowing in the opposite direction. So what will happen in this case? This type of movement is called as upstream movement. What movement? Upstream movement. And the speed applicable in this case would be called as speed upstream, something which I'm representing with SU. So how would you calculate speed upstream? Very easy. This time you are going to remove speed of river from speed of boat. Why? Because this time the speed of river is going to hamper the speed of boat. It is going to create a hindrance. Wo ek hindrance create karega. Wo boat ki speed ko hamper karega. And that is why you should remove speed of river from speed of boat to calculate speed upstream. So this is how we calculate the two important speeds which are applicable in this particular concept. Speed downstream and speed upstream. So please do remember this. Now after understanding how to calculate speed downstream and upstream, I want to show you two more formula which comes very handy while solving the problems based on boats and stream. So first, let me write down the two important formulas, speed downstream and speed upstream. Speed downstream is simply the summation of two speeds, speed of boat plus speed of river. Speed upstream is the difference. And by default, we go by an assumption that speed of boat has to be more than speed of river because then only boat would be able to do the upstream movement. Otherwise, it is not possible. And therefore, you see this order, it will always be speed of boat minus speed of river. Now what I want you to understand further, uh, if I add the two expressions, look at the left hand side first. So if I add the two speed downstream plus speed upstream, you know what is speed upstream? Speed of boat plus speed of river. What is speed upstream? Simply plug in the value, it is speed of boat minus speed of river. Simplify this. This thing would get cancelled. And then you will get twice of speed of boat equals to this speed downstream plus upstream. So from here, 
you would be able to get a formula which will help you to get speed of boat by using the two important speed what two important speeds speed downstream and upstream so if someone asks you how can i calculate speed of boat by simply taking average of the two speeds simple similarly if i subtract the two second from first what will happen speed downstream minus speed upstream speed downstream how do we calculate this speed of boat minus speed of river then i have a negative sign let me put a bracket here what is speed upstream how do we calculate this you already know speed of boat minus speed of river let's open the bracket so if i open the bracket signs will get changed this time boat will get cancelled out and now you'll get a formula to calculate speed of river that is what this half of the difference of two important speeds half of the difference of the two important speeds now there's a way using which you can remember this formula now if you simply compare the two formulas speed of river and speed of boat there's only one change the change of sign as i told you that speed of boat is always going to be more than speed of river so in which case you are going to add obviously in case of speed of boat and in case of speed of river we'll use a minus sign so this is how easily you can recall these two formula so i hope you were able to understand these four important formula what four important formula speed downstream speed upstream speed of boat and speed of river after understanding these four formula now let us try solving few questions based on this read the first problem if the ratio of speed downstream to speed upstream is 7 is to 4 find the ratio of speed of boat to the speed of stream now so it's a very simple question if you know how to use ratios then uh, you would be able to get the answer in no time let me first show it to you what data we are given with the ratio of speed downstream to upstream is given it's 7 is to 4 and we have to calculate the ratio between speed of boat is to speed of stream so guys please don't get confused by reading this word stream stream current river all three are one of the same things right so hum river ko stream bhi bolte hain current bhi bolte hain all the three words are synonymous so don't get confused these are all same words tell me one thing how do we calculate speed of boat if the two important speeds are given although the real data is not given i know the ratio so looking at the ratio can i assume speed downstream as 7x and speed upstream as 4x you would say why not and now you know the formula to calculate speed of boat the formula is speed downstream plus speed upstream divided by 2 likewise if i ask you to write down the formula to calculate speed of stream or speed of river the only difference is i have a minus sign here that's all let's plug in the value speed of downstream is 7x plus 4x divided by 2 how do we calculate speed of stream simply replace plus with minus sign and you get the answer now let's plug in the values here 7x plus 4x divided by 2 that is speed of boat and what is speed of stream easy it is 7x minus 4x divided by you would realize that since we are dealing in ratio the common values will get ruled out and now 7x plus 4x is 11x 7x minus 4x is uh, 3x you get the answer is 11 is to 3 so tomorrow if they give you this ratio what ratio speed of boat is to speed of stream let's say as 7 is to 3 and they ask you to calculate speed downstream to speed upstream this is very easy all you need to do is first look at this ratio let's make assumption 7x and 3x as the two speeds speed of boat is 7x speed of stream is 3x we know the formula of speed downstream it is the summation 7x plus 3x and how do we calculate speed upstream by finding the difference simply take the ratio you get the answer x will get cancelled so this is 5 is to 2 2 5 10 2 2 4 so this is going to be the answer so whatever ratio they provide you with either this or this you would be able to get the other ratio this is what you have to realize so this is first problem which is really important now let's look at the second problem a boat traveling at 5 km per hour can cover 28 kilometers in 4 hour while going downstream 
find the distance covered by a log of wood in eight hours while going downstream now it's a very easy question all you need to do is you have to first understand the data and then we have to see what data we are given with and then try to realize what data we are given with now it's a very easy question it, it now it's a very simple setup all you need to do is you have to first write down things which we are given with uh, if you read this what is this 5 km per hour it is speed of boat guys okay, when we say speed of boat at times students get confused sir what speed of boat means speed of boat in still water मतलब जब उसके ऊपर किसी और का इफेक्ट नहीं है यानी कि वो इंजन का स्पीड है जो बोट में इंजन लगा है उसका स्पीड 5 किलोमीटर पर आ है व्हेन इट इज नॉट अंडर द इफेक्ट ऑफ एनी अदर थिंग दैट इज व्हाट स्पीड ऑफ बोट रिप्रेजेंट इट सेज इट कैन कवर 28 एट किलोमीटर्स वट ट्वेंटी एट किलोमीटर इज यू वुड से डिस्टेंस इन फोर आवर्स वट फोर आवर इज इट इज टाइम सो यूजिंग डी एन टी वट आई कैन कैलकुलेट आई कैन कैलकुलेट स्पीड एंड वट स्पीड आई वुड बी एबल टू गेट हेयर सी दिस This much distance is covered by a boat while going downstream. So, can I calculate speed of downstream? What is the way to calculate speed? Distance upon time. So, 28 kilometers downstream distance in how much time? You would say, sir, in four hours of time. So, from here, you would be able to calculate speed downstream very easily. Once you have the two speeds, you can very easily calculate the other two speeds. Whatever you require. But I am trying to tell you. you know that how do we calculate speed downstream it is speed of boat plus speed of river speed downstream is 7 speed of boat is 5 so can you calculate speed of river now very easy you would say sir speed of river 2 km per hour this is how we can calculate speed of river if i required i can find out speed of upstream as well guys all you need to understand is out of the four speeds what four speed speed downstream upstream boat and river if i know the value of any two any two speeds like in our case we were aware about speed of boat and speed downstream so if you simply see speed of boat was 5 speed downstream we calculated it was 7 now using these two speeds i can calculate any other speeds whatever i require so speed of river i have just calculated it as 2 now if i know this can you calculate speed upstream now it's very easy here how do we calculate speed upstream by finding the difference of the two speeds speed of boat minus speed of river it is going to be 3 so this is what i was saying if i know any two speeds out of the four i can calculate the other two speeds very easily so i hope you were able to understand this and now let me come back to our question find the distance covered by a log of wood in 8 hours while going downstream okay so please realize there is a log of wood which is flowing in a river and since this log of wood does not have any engine so can i say in whatever direction river is flowing so if i assume river is flowing in this particular direction the log of wood will also flow in the same direction and at what speed you would say sir speed of log of wood would be same as speed of river do i know speed of river you would say yes sir we had just calculated it was 2 km per hour so can i say speed of log of wood would be same as speed of river 2 km per hour and once i know this getting the answer of this particular question is a nothing job i want to calculate the distance covered by log of wood you know the formula speed and time speed of what speed of log of wood into time taken by log of wood at what speed the log of wood will flow 2 km per hour for how many hours 8 hours it is mentioned in the question simply calculate it's 16 kilometers so this is how easily i can get the answer of this question if i know the concept so i hope you were able to understand this this is all in this session i hope you were able to understand the two problems if you have any queries please write down your queries in the comment box if you have enjoyed the session please like share and subscribe thank you and have a nice day